So, we are uh, in uh, second year lab of Department of Physics, IIT Kharagpur. So, today we will demonstrate one experiment basically how to produce magnetic field uh, in laboratory. So, uh, you know this magnetic field uh, you can get from permanent magnet. This is one option, another option is electromagnet. So, if you pass current through a conductor, if conductor is straight or circular or spiral, it gives uh, magnetic field. So, following the biot savart law, right. So, today uh, uh, in electromagnet basically we use circular coils. So, two coils are separated uh, by distance and then we use some core between these two coils uh, and uh, so the, we tell these pole pieces, uh, these uh, two faces of these pole pieces between the two faces of the pole pieces, we get the magnetic field. So, this pole we use, these are made of magnetic metal. So, it, it helps to intensify the magnetic field. So, without pole also, uh, basically magnetic field is generated from this, uh, from the uh, from the current carrying conductor, current carrying coils. Okay. Now, to intensify this field, we have other arrangement in electromagnet. So, that is the basically electromagnet. So, mainly in laboratory, we use electromagnet for producing magnetic field. Okay. So, another uh, uh, way to produce magnetic field that is basically superconductor. Using superconductor uh, so, this we tell superconductor magnet. So, this is different, but mainly we use electromagnet uh, in our teaching laboratory, in our research laboratory to produce magnetic field. And what are the, uh, uh, the uh, components in the electromagnet? So, that I will show you many times in other experiment, we will use this electromagnet. Now, today basically uh, we will study, we will study the variation of magnetic field along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. So, if you have a circular coils, these coils have say number of turns is n. Okay. And now, if you pass current through it, if you pass current through it, so there will be uh, magnetic field. So, magnetic field we will measure here, we will study the magnetic field along the axis, along the axis of the circular coil, along the this the axis of the circular coil. So, along the axis at different say I have uh, put some points uh, on this axis. So, at different points what is the magnetic field that we will measure. So, basically we will uh, for a particular current at different point on the axis, what is the magnetic field that we will measure. And then, uh, uh, then basically, uh, if you look at the working formula as I already I have discussed in earlier class, in last class that uh, this, uh, what is the working formula of this experiment. So, working formula for this experiment is B, magnetic field produced by this coil on the axis at a distance x, coil this radius is r, number of turns is n, then formula is mu 0 n i by 2 r square divided by x square plus r square uh, to the power 3 by 2. Okay. So, mu 0 is permeability basically, er permeability and uh, so, so this is the formula and if you plot this formula theoretically, this whatever the relation with uh, this x and b, uh, if you plot it, so this it generally become like this, okay. this variation of, of magnetic field is maximum at the center x equal to 0 and if you just increase this distance, so it is a decrease, so decrease like this following this formula basically. And since it is x square, so in negative direction also for negative x also, so it will be this curve will be symmetric. Okay. So, basically uh, in this experiment, we will vary this x 
and measure the magnetic field. Then we will plot magnetic field versus this uh, x and from there we will, so we will see this whether uh, experimentally we are seeing the same type of profile or not because theoretically this profile should be like this and experimentally we will see whether it is showing similar profile or not. Secondly, uh, uh, we can find out in principle the radius of this coil you know this uh, you see from this formula if you put x equal to 0 that means at the center then b equal to mu 0 n i by 2 r. So, if from this plot I can find out the peak and what is the peak value that is the b value at x equal to 0. So, that means from this plot I will get b value and mu 0 is, is, uh, is supplied is known n number of turns is known and then current also known for a particular current we are doing this uh, experiment. Okay. So, from there we can calculate the uh, radius of this coil. Okay. So, this is the experiment. Now, this for this experiment this is the setup very simple setup this is the setup. So, here you can see this is the coil we tell generally is the is a circular coil is the circular coil. So, basically here two coils are there here two coils are there two coils are there okay. and uh, uh, this uh, now in this coil what is there basically here you cannot see this basically this uh, number of turns uh, uh, is, is, is is it is in inside of this of this structure. So, you cannot see, but I will show you how to make this type of coil I will show you. Uh, so, so this coil now uh, these two coils are there and they have arranged in this uh, in this structures in such a way that one coil we have is the fixed with this and another coil basically we can move another coil we can move because uh, uh, as I, uh, I will tell you this uh, why we need to move so that I will explain. Secondly, we have to basically measure the magnetic field at different distance. So, for measuring the magnetic field at different distance, uh, how will measure? So, we use the Gauss meters. Okay. So, this is the basically Gauss meters, he, it has basically two part, one is here you can see the sensors is written sensors okay. and here it is written coils current, coils current. So, from this place we are giving uh, current to the coil, we are giving current to the coil. Okay and uh, for a particular current here you can see for a particular current in which coil you are sending current here you see it is written 1, 2 or both. That means, if you set 1 you are sending the current in one coil, coil 1. So, say this is the current uh, coil 1. So, you are sending current only in this coil. If you put it here, so means you are sending current to the uh, coil 2. And if you set here, so this basically you are sending current to both the coils. Okay. So, this is the uh, so that way circuit is made. Okay. So, secondly, after setting current, now uh, what is the magnetic field at the uh, along the axis of the of the coil that I have to measure? For this, I need magnetic sensor. So, generally we use Holfrov. So, later on probably not in this experimental physics 1, in experimental physics 2 another. So, I will, uh, so uh, uh, in solid state physics basically uh, uh, we, we will demonstrate one experiment on Hall effect. So, depending on based on Hall effect there is a sensor is called Hall sensor or Hall flow. So, that sends the, that sends the magnetic field and some calibration etcetera is there. So, that is then as a whole we tell Gauss meter. So, this is basically that is the Gauss meter. So, this Hall probe here this is the, this is the uh, sensor this is the Hall probe okay. and this Hall probe uh, will tell you at this position what is the 
magnetic field and that reading will come here ok. So, this experiment uh, I will I will uh, just how to do it I will tell you. Now, here uh, important is that as I told this inductors this coil is nothing but basically inductor you know resistors, capacitors, inductor these three elements are very very important it is used in different form in different places ok. So, here this coil is very important for producing the magnetic field in the laboratory and uh, making a coil is not difficult things routinely we, we, we make the coil we make coil in our laboratory. So, our technician uh, of, of, uh, of our optics lab Mr. Mojumdar uh, really he, he is very expert in making coil. So, he will he will show you how to make this type of coil he will show you on small small coil. So, Mr. Mojumdar will tell you about the coil how to make it. Now, here is a an inductor. It is uh, basically a PVC pipe. On the PVC pipe, we are bonding insulated enamel insulated copper wire. Yeah. Now, see here I made already 30 to 40 turns. Now, I am increasing the number of turns. This type of wires are available in market in various gauges according to the uh, according to our need I mean current in the coil current in the circuit we select the gauge of this wire here it is 25 gauge then again 18, eight, 18 gauge then 15 gauge various types of gauges are available then we own this type of format this coil yeah. suppose if, if we own this one then I shall show you later on first here it is uh, with 25 gauge I am owning about 50 or 100 turns I have to complete up to this then it will it will develop enough magnetic magnetic force then with the help of probe inserting that probe inside then we can measure the strength field strength. Hmm, like okay, this. So, this way you have to continue this uh, uh, winding. turns winding and then uh, then yeah similar type of similar actually type he of has made uh, many of them hmm. I think this uh, for for various uh, application hmm. or requirement in laboratory he has made this. Uh, so, these are just for to end of this uh, coil. So, here this uh, for giving power. So, this part is there. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I think and then he said also here you see this uh, I think he this has made just uh, uh, fixed on this plate and from this plate he has taken this connection ok. So, what I want to tell you this is not very difficult it is very easy now our problem is what is inside that we do not know In, inside nothing is there except <coughs> this one this type of coil ok. Now, if I cover it with this you cannot see then what is inside that is difficult to uh, understand. So, that is why this open things I, uh, I was showing you. So, he will show you this one uh, just yeah. So, this, this type of coil this type of coil if you want to get. So, you have to again we can make a hole here then this terminal will be will come out from this place then again okay, one turn another turn. Hmm. Hmm. Then hundreds and hundreds of turns you can own. At this layer, you have to maintain the layer. Mm. You have to maintain the proper layer and gauge. Then with this slot, we can accommodate one one thousand number one thousand turns of the, the small gauge. But here, and for this gauge, we can turn two hundred turns. It, around two hundred. It, it, it will carry seven ampere. It is 18 gauge, it will carry 7 ampere current. For 7 ampere current, if and in every layer, you get some uh, 
insulator paper, paper leather paper and okay. this insulation so some insulation uh, we give uh, yeah. for each after completing each layer, yeah. layer. we put this uh, what is called this uh, insulated varnish insulated varnish yeah. varnish okay then then you can apply a 7 ampere or 6 ampere 7 ampere safely without it it it, it, it will not burn safely you can use this by applying continuously you, for each layer you have to apply this insulation okay so uh, this way uh, we produce coil this coil is used for you know this uh, uh, for electromagnet and in in lab for different uh, experiment we we uh, we use different uh, different uh, type of coils means its radius its length etc different you see coil also is very important this coil produce magnetic field and also this coil is used to detect magnetic field using you know Faraday law Lenz law you know okay so Faraday law Lenz law according to Faraday law Lenz law if you just bring this coil to a near magnetic field and if it just uh, uh, vary it just move uh, uh, to the uh, in the magnetic field so then there will be induced EMF in this in this coil and from that induced EMF uh, you can tell how much how much uh, magnetic field is is there. So, you can change the magnetic field also. So, this coil is very important that is why I, I called Mr. Mojumdar uh, to, to uh, show it uh, to show it. So, uh, like this you know here uh, if you so here this the uh, you are using for producing mag magnetic field. So, if you put current, so you will get magnetic field. So, now uh, this another coil if you just bring close to it and if it is either you have to you have to vary the magnetic field applying AC current or you have to or you have to or you have to if it is DC current then you have uh, should have option to uh, vary this this way or this way. Okay. So, this magnetic field link with this coil will vary with time and that is what uh, so uh, this there will be induced EMF on it and measuring this induced EMF or corresponding current you can correlate with the with the magnetic field of this coil. Okay. So, these are very important uh, for, for our uh, experiment for our uh, yeah, I think in many places these coils are used. So, uh, as I told this this experiment here today using this coil, what we want to measure? We want to measure the variation of magnetic field along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. Okay. So, so actually I will vary I will vary the position x and uh, corresponding magnetic field I will measure. So, here you see this coil this position is uh, at 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 is here scale is there is 0 0 position ok. And this coil is basically I can move this coil basically I can move this coil you see there is option to move it this is fixed this move it I move it. Now, uh, initially what I will do I will take so, this is the here this is the magnetic uh, field sensors and this this sensor this the you see this height we have taken in such a way it is exactly on the axis of this on the axis of this uh, coil both coil actually. So, uh, I can just initially what I have to do I have to for this experiment I have to take it I have to take it basically at the centers. This magnetic field sensor should be should be. I think here I put it at ten. So here this also I have to put it at ten. Okay. So now uh, forget this coil. Just we are doing experiment using this coil. So here you see this is the. Uh, this uh, this magnetic field sensor is at the 
center of the coil of this coil. Okay. Now, uh, I just here, uh, here you see I have to choose this is I think uh, coil 2, this is coil 2 I guess, this is coil 2, this is 1. So, I set it at, at 2 position and current now it is, it is, it is uh, 0 current. Uh, zero current here. So, now I will increase current. Okay. When I am increasing current you see this magnetic field is you can see magnetic field it is in Gauss, it is written Gauss. Okay. So, current I have given these are in milli ampere, even it is milli ampere you see can you see milli ampere is the milli ampere. So, if I give say uh, maximum probably 200 we can put here, but uh, uh, 450. 450. So, so let us put maximum current okay? around 450 around 450 because you have to know the limitation of your instrument you know here uh, it is a 4, 500 milliampere you can get, but in uh, we, we uh, if it is uh, limit is 500 we never go up to 500 we keep just slightly less than that. So, this is 450 milliampere current you have set. Okay. So, you have to note down current I is 450 milliampere. Okay. Now, for this current at center of this coil this x equal to 0 as I showed you at x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 this x is basically distance from the centers okay, x equal to 0. Now, this is the uh, what is the magnetic field? this 13.5 gauss okay now uh, i will change the position of this uh, so both side so these are say these are positive side x is increasing uh, positive side now zero to positive side i am going so i will change this is now zero 10 is <coughs> is basically now uh, zero position now, I will go to other side say 11 at 11 you see what is the reading 13.4 you have to note down for 11 means it is 1 okay, 1 centimeters distance is 1 centimeter then I am changing to the 12 you see it is the 13 point 13 point how much 1 okay. then 12 then go 13 then go 13, it is 12.4, then go I think go it got stuck anyway. Yes, it is 14, it is 11.5, then 15, I think I have to go to 15, then it is 10.8. So, this way you continue up to say almost towards 0, you know, uh, 0 of this magnetic field. Anyway, so I am now at 18, then 19. So, for every 1 centimeter, we have to just take reading, we have to take just reading. So, let us say up to, let us say up to 21 or 25. Ah, so, you take take the reading. Okay. Then you go back to again to 0, 0 means 10 okay. and take the reading in other side. Okay. X equal to minus, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 up to uh, this you have to take a reading. So, then this, then you have to plot this graph and then find out the peak value. Okay. So, this how to analyze the data that I will uh, explain in next class how to how to uh, find out the uh, uh, radius of the of the of the car as well as how to calculate the error. So, all things I will discuss in next class. Okay. So, these are very nice experiment to demonstrate to verify very basic formula Biot-Stafford law from Biot-Stafford law this uh, this working formula has come and you know this uh, that in last class I have I have shown you uh, 
uh, how this uh, working formula has come it is basically verification of bayer sapper law you know this uh, also this uh, this two coil why two coil we are using so this you know this helmholtz coil the theory of helmholtz coil is basically this now here what you saw this you you have a coil now along the axis if you just move then it magnetic field varies but in electromagnet between the two coil we use between two coil we want uniform magnetic field so to produce uniform magnetic field what is the condition so that's the basically we tell helmholtz coil and you can uh, we can show theoretically that when the distance between these two coil will be equal to the equal or less than the diameter of the one of the coil two coil should be identical diameter of the coil so then you will get uniform magnetic field so that i can show you in fact it's not difficult so this coil i think it's uh, around uh, uh, radius is uh, 10 centimeter so let us keep at 10 centimeter so it is at zero so this one i will keep at 10 centimeter this i will keep at 10 centimeter okay this i yeah it is at 10 centimeter okay so distance between these two coil is now 10 centimeter which is equal to the radius of the uh, of the uh, one of the coil okay now here you see magnetic field 13.6 okay but now i have to uh, pass current in both coil okay so here i have to take in this mode okay current is now in both coil current is now both coil now current somehow decrease so uh, i have to i have to increase it yeah no i think this it's a heated something anyway so it's a uh, uh, you see at this position it is around 19 19.1 now i am uh, changing the position this is at the at the center of this coil okay so now let us go up to the center of this other coil you see this 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 is uh, between 19 to 20 this between 19 to 20 so it's a uh, between these two coil you see these are 20 it's almost constant i am varying it's almost constant you see over this you know, when it is coming to the near to the center then this varying but between these two coil uh, you can see you see over this range it's uh, it's constant okay so this way uh, this is the we, we the demonstration of a helmholtz coil how to produce the uniform magnetic field and for that these two coil one has to keep uh, at a distance of uh, of of uh, diameter of not diameter radius of the one of the coil okay so I think it's a, a nice experiment to learn uh, the theory, verification of theory and how to produce magnetic field in the laboratory. So this simple way we could uh, show you. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, I will discuss uh, in next class about the uh, data analysis and, and calculation results and the um, error analysis. Okay. Thank you.